I don't know what that was, and I'm not sure I really want to know what that was. But I heard something like grumbling or something. Maybe there's a bear? I swear that I saw like somebody standing like in the middle of those groupings of trees. Okay, what the hell did I just see? I thought I saw something like a corner down there. So who just leaves a boat? I don't, I don't get it. I just for some reason I'm getting a really, really bad unsettling feeling about this place. He's a serial killer coming back to murder me <laughs> by boat, apparently. I know it's a bit macabre, but you know, it's just where my brain is going for some odd reason. Sometimes it goes to dark, weird pla- the What the f was that? That was right behind me. Holy shit. Okay, nope, no, 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 no. I don't know what where? The f that was. Holy sh What? Hiding? Yeah. What? Is that just somebody screaming? Or is that coming from the dude's boat? Holy crap. Holy crap. Dude, whatever the hell that was, that was directly behind me. Oh, something's moving. Okay, no, no, no. Let's, uh, uh, let's go this way. Oh, shit. Sarah. Okay. Oh, Megan. No, 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 no. I died in the war. I'm getting the hell out of here for a moment. I don't know what that sound was. Holy f Scarlet. Okay, all of a sudden, Spear Talker is going crazy. What is going on right now? Okay, so I wanted to turn this off because it was just going crazy. It said manipulation and night. It is night. And I also realized that I cannot, in fact, go this way. So we have to go around. I need to get off this island for a second. What in the actual f Oh my god, there it was again. What the f right behind me. Oh shit. Oh, oh crap. Ow. I almost rolled my ankle. Holy crap. Holy crap. What the f I don't know what that was, and I'm not sure I really want to know what that was. I'll probably come back, but I think I just need a second. driving these dark roads late at night um, so I did leave uh, I will be back but I have to get something to eat <laughs> okay I feel so much better now that I've eaten um, okay so that was really creepy for one um, I don't know what the f that sound was it sounded like I don't even know how to describe it like something snarled or scoffed kind of behind me I have no idea what the heck that was but um, I just got some food, um, so I found Pizza Hut Express, but I didn't have pizza because there's also a Robin's Coffee or Donuts or whatever the heck it's called that's connected to it. Thank God I found it because I was so, so hungry. I didn't even know if I could actually continue on tonight if I didn't happen to get some food in my stomach because um, I was so hungry. The one problem I'm finding up north is because everything's so sparse, everything closes really early and there's not a lot of food places. It just kind of is what it is. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it is what it is. I definitely need to plan ahead when I go into these areas where there's not much available. I've got to bring my own food and snacks sometimes just to keep me going. But uh, yeah, so I was actually thinking um, I may go back into that random area that we were at before. And 
I just basically want to see if anything's going on. I want to see maybe if that truck is still there, if those people are like camping or something, if there is people or one person, I have no idea. But it's kind of creepy because of the rumors of a possible serial killer being in there. I didn't see anybody. Obviously, we didn't find any particular clues that would have told us that, but uh, it might be pretty creepy to go in there, so I might actually poop my pants at this point, um, and it's also kind of on the way back, so I know it's going to waste a lot of time, but we'll go and do that first, and then we'll go back to the island and uh, continue camping, and I was kind of thinking too, I'm like, what if they're all connected? What if what actually happened was, yes, maybe the island is haunted, but what if whoever is doing things to people did that? Crazy thing, too. There was these two gentlemen, I think it was a father and a son, um, and the son was actually telling the father, this happened right now inside of this Robin's Donuts. And uh, actually, let me get some, uh, some coffee because I need some caffeine to kind of wake me up, too. Oh, boy. Um, so, anyways... I was kind of overhearing a bit of their conversation and what they were talking about was that uh, apparently somebody got murdered like literally yesterday. Apparently the person was wearing a ski mask. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what happened. It was in an area nearby. Um, I don't even think they know what happened, but it sounds pretty f crazy. I might look it up afterwards and see if I can find maybe an article about it. Um, but what if this, these places are all kind of intertwined and interconnected. So if, if that person maybe somehow ended up in the other area, maybe that's actually where they got like kidnapped or murdered or something. I don't know. Just somehow disappeared essentially. So I don't really know. Um, we're going to go in again and see if, uh, there's anything that we can kind of figure out. If we could find those people, maybe we'll talk to them. I mean, the likelihood of them being a serial killer is probably not likely, but you never know. Out in these areas, you literally would absolutely never know. So hopefully we can see somebody and talk to them and uh, kind of confirm or at least see what the heck they're doing. Maybe they're just out there boating. I have no idea. I don't want to speculate, um, but my suspicions because of the stories in this area right now are kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, dude, if there's like actually a serial killer out there like doing this, I mean, there has to be somebody because somebody's going in there and dumping bodies periodically, apparently. And it's not just there. There are other areas as well that people have, that this has happened, right? So, um, but like I said before, it is possible too that somebody went off into the woods, you know, got hurt or um, something happened, got mauled by an animal. Anything could happen. Literally anything could happen. So, um, yeah, let's head off, off there first. Let's head off there first and uh, just see what's going on and then we will go back to the island. Okay, we are currently back at this serial killer's forest or whatever the hell is going on here. And uh, I'm nervous. It is dark. It is spooky as all hell. And I know it looks like I'm drinking a Tim Hortons coffee. But what I literally just did right now, what the hell? I thought I saw something. Um, <laughs> was because the lid on the Robin's coffee was really like flimsy and short. This is going to be a bumpy ride. There's going to be coffee going everywhere. So I poured it all into an old Tim Hortons cup uh, just because it has more space and uh, hopefully the coffee won't spill but all right let's uh, get ready to do this Let me just make sure yeah I got my flashlight camera all set fresh battery let's uh, let's head on in there all right I need some high beams we need to put her in drive and uh, the other thing too is I don't know why this is telling me that this is Thunder Bay. This is definitely not Thunder Bay. We're nowhere near Thunder Bay at the moment. Um, that's like three hours from here. But okay, let's go. Let's just hope there's no moose on this road. It's already bad enough. And then when it narrows out, it's like terrible. I love how like probably the bumpiest part of this road is pretty much right at the entrance. Well, now that we know where the hell we're going, let's just hope we can actually get all the way in there. Um, now that we know where we're going, this should make it a little bit easier. Okay. Damn, it's so dark. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down for a moment, get us a little bit closer, uh, and then I'll start recording again. Damn, dude, it's so dark out here. I'm trying to even remember where all the road is. 
think it was the one ahead of me. Or is it? No, that's not a rope. <laughs> okay, it's definitely this way. What the man? I think it's this way. Yeah, it says the trail is there. I did find like some trails, but they were pretty horrible. Okay, I just want to make sure my coffee's not spilling everywhere. Looks like we're okay. Holy moly. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to do at 11 o'clock at night. Totally didn't want to go and, you know, sit on the deck at Red Rock Inn and maybe smoke a stogie and drink some wine like a normal person. No. No, we had to come here. <laughs> it's all good, though. Whatever. just see. I thought I saw something like in the corner down there. I don't see anything now. Oh man. Maybe it was an animal? Bear or moose or something? I don't see anything. There's nothing there. Nothing that I can tell anyways. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be really spooky. Um, eventually we're gonna lose cell service. We're almost there in terms of losing cell service. What am I even doing right now? So I am going like incredibly slow right now for two reasons. Don't want to break the car and break down in the middle of nowhere with no cell reception. We wouldn't even be able to call a tow truck. I'd probably either have to camp out here if that's the case with a possible serial killer hiding out here in the woods. The other reason is if there is in fact a moose somewhere, um, I need to give myself hopefully an opportunity to spot it because I don't really want the to ram the car because they will do that they will they're very territorial they will feel threatened and they will quite literally ram the car uh, which we don't want because I saw what it did to somebody's metal gate to their driveway recently and I was like holy shit if it could do that to a metal gate those things are pretty solid they'll do some damage to your car that is for damn sure so Got to be uh, cautious of these freaking mooses out here. But uh, we're slowly getting there. The first lake is just up ahead. Um, so it's a little bit nerve wracking because then we got to do this whole drive back out. <laughs> Hopefully we can get there in like 15 minutes. It's a, it's a slow drive though. That's the thing. It's so slow. Okay, that was really weird. For like a second, I could have sworn I saw other lights. Wait, how do I turn my... Why are my lights not turning off? Okay, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it was maybe just the angle that I was coming down the road at, but I could have sworn I saw like lights shooting across the sky for a second there. It might have just been the angle of the car just creating a weird illusion. Um, but so far, nothing yet. It's quiet. Eerily quiet, but it is quiet. Okay. The other thing too, I didn't even realize that I was literally right next to the lake. I wasn't even paying attention, but we're actually almost at the end of the first one. So we are almost there. Um, not too much left to go, really. Ugh. <laughs> All the bangs on the car. Well, we're pretty much here. Um, so the lake is down there. Faintly see it, but the truck is still there too. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick drive down to the fucking lake for a sec. Let's just make sure we don't hit anything. Oh man, this is so spooky. So the truck is there. There's no lights on on it. I wonder if the boat's still there. Let's see if the boat is still there. <laughs> uh, unless I can't tell. 
Oh, it is. It's literally still there. What is going on here? Okay, I'm gonna put the light on the camera and then get out. Even though I don't really want to, but. <laughs> okay, so, um, I'm like trying to be as quiet as possible so I can just kind of listen. For a sec, I thought there was like a light on the boat, but there clearly is not. There's, but everything is still here. Exactly like last time. Whoa. I don't hear a single thing. No fire. So who just leaves a boat? I don't, I don't get it. I'm really confused. screamed again but very faint okay this doesn't make any sense like if someone's camping out here I should be able to at least see like a light or fire or something You know what? I think I think we're gonna start making our way back out. Of this this was probably a really stupid idea anyway. I'm just I'm back in the car now, and I heard something. Damn! Look at all the spider webs that are on my car right now. That was a weird noise. It was like a. Ooh. I didn't have the car started yet. I have it started now because I gotta make a getaway. But what the f was that? I have no idea. I'm gonna see. Uh, if I could see anything at that truck. I'm not gonna go down that road because it's too hard to turn around, but I wanna see what's going on. So you can clearly see there's no lights on in that vehicle. It is still there, right? Not just, yeah, it's literally still there. Damn, okay. I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna, I just, for some reason, I'm getting a really, really bad, unsettling feeling about this place, and I'm just gonna get the out here. I have no definitive proof whatsoever that there is somebody in fact doing some craziness out here um but i'm gonna lock the doors and make my way back to the highway because this we're gonna go and do something a little bit easier now hopefully and uh we're just gonna head back to the oh forgot the uh x mode was still on let me turn that off but we're gonna head back to the um uh i can't even speak right now the island Whew, I don't know, I'm, I'm so nervous right now, but I'll film if I see anything else out here. Oh man, barely made it. Well, we made it in one piece, but I thought the car was gonna like break or something, holy moly, but luckily I got a Subaru, so not really an issue, but for those of you who maybe haven't seen like the earlier portion of when we went in there during the day, the reason why that is kind of strange um, is the fact that it is crown land, so that means that it is for public use, it's like government land, whatever, whatever. Um, so the fact that somebody is clearly in that area, obviously I don't know where, because I didn't see where the lights were, and I just, I was not going to go off into the, the bush by myself and search for whoever this person is. But it's just strange because it's like, no one just leaves a boat and their truck in the corner. It's like, maybe they are camping, maybe it's just campers, and they're kind of like deep off into the bush and you couldn't see or hear them. But, uh, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of odd. Um, I'm going to head back to the island now, Angelo's Island, of course. Uh, the one that I have officially named, uh, because it is mine, I proclaim it. Uh, so we're going to head back over there and continue investigating because I think the place is haunted. I heard something. Couldn't tell you where it came from. Definitely heard something though. So let's head back over there and see what else we can figure out. Okay, so it is now midnight, like exactly midnight on the dot. And uh, 
it's dark and it's quite cold but the sky is pretty clear and we might actually be able to see the northern lights again tonight which would be absolutely amazing because we saw them yesterday and it was so cool i couldn't see it with the naked eye but i could clearly see it through my phone using a night shot or even on this camera so let's actually turn the light off and see if we can see it again all right you know it's like pitch black right now guys just bear with me oh look at that you can actually see them it's not as much as yesterday wow let me just lower these isos to smooth out this image but look at that that is pretty beautiful pretty beautiful <laughs> that sounded really weird but okay cool well wow, that's actually pretty incredible what the hell was that I saw like a flash of light down there like on the beach I don't see anything now it's really dark out there I also thought I heard something down there. So the island is there. <laughs> it's so dark I couldn't even see where it was. Uh, but what I saw was like down there somewhere. I don't see anybody. I mean, I... shit. I was going to grab my stuff and head back right there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anybody on the beach right now. I don't see why they would at this time. Most people have probably gone home or back to wherever they're staying tonight. What was that, though? So the highway is, like, over there, but as you can see, there is a lot of trees in the way. I'm going to go and check. And it definitely wasn't a firefly. I'm pretty sure I just saw a firefly. That was much more faint. What was that noise? I thought I heard something like grumbling or something. Maybe there's a bear? Yep, here we are at uh, 12 o'clock at night in the middle of nowhere in northern Ontario. <laughs> Walking along the beach. <laughs> what is that? I think I see something. I thought I did anyway. I thought I saw like some black thing down there. It's a little foggy tonight. Making it really eerie. I can see a light down there. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but... What is that? Oh, just driftwood, I think. More wood. Hey, hello? Anybody out here? Yeah, I don't, I don't see anybody or anything. Nobody out there. Okay. So what the hell did I just see then? What is that? Is that wood? I think it's wood. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. There's another like point island looking thing down there. But I'm going to turn around and go back to this one, which is our main objective. I'm going to check later on, see if the northern lights are uh, any brighter. I'm hoping that I'll actually be able to see them with my own eyes. That would actually be really cool. I know that you can, sometimes depending on where you are in the world. Um, I'm just currently not north enough, apparently, to be able to see them clearly. All right, let's head over to Angelo's Island. <laughs> okay, that was... Very creepy. I swore, or I swear that I saw what looked like somebody standing, like in the middle of those groupings of trees. Someone just moved over there. What the hell is that? What the fuck? 
trying to see if there's like anybody there by chance, but I don't see anything now. Okay, that was very strange. I don't even know. Uh, oh, damn, I literally almost just tripped. Fuck, um, something splashing in the water there. What the hell? <laughs> Probably the minnows or something. Hello, minnows? Well, you can see something moving around over there. Okay, let's grab our stuff and uh, get a little bit closer. What the hell did I just hear? I hate when that happens when I'm not filming. I'm just locking the car, but... I heard like a weird clicking noise. Which is kind of weird, because it's like... That clicking noise that I heard at that forest near home. What the f***? That was weird. I don't, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Um, so I got the tent. So we're ready to go. Apparently it's filled with sand from the last time I decided to set up my tent on a frickin' beach. again. Okay, what is out there? Clearly there's no one here. Just remnants. Oh, this is a lot creepier now. <laughs> now that there's no sunlight. Damn. Oh. So I am hoping that like there's no high tide and we get <laughs> washed out. Cuz that would seriously suck. So then we'll be swimming back. Whoa. I thought I heard something. It almost sounded like somebody spoke. Is there somebody here? It's quiet now. walk into a giant spider web, which I probably did anyways. Is there anybody here? I don't know if something just like flew into a leaf or something and made a noise from that tree. Damn, I feel like I'm on Mars all of a sudden. I don't even know where I'm going to set up this tent. Maybe here. Here actually looks decent. I'm gonna actually put that down. Whew. It's so funny because when I move this around, it literally sounds like. What the f is that? Something's in here moving around again. Hello, if somebody's in there, come out. Otherwise, you're about to be blinded. Fair warning. Okay. Clearly, there's no one here. Okay. Um, I'm back, whatever the hell is here, I'm gonna get uh, Skinwalker Talker going again. She is running. Can you tell me what's here? Need trust.
For a second it sounded like something was walking behind me. What do I need trust for? Compassion. I need trust for compassion? Can you tell me about the person who went missing? Or maybe if you know what's going on with people in the area? Yeah. What? It said something, but I couldn't... I'm with family. I got a name Hannah and I'm with family. Robinson. Hannah... Robinson? Hannah Robinson? Just heard howling down there. That's always a good sign. <laughs> Coyotes or wolves? They do have wolves out here, so... How did you die, Hannah? That's actually crazy. It literally gave me... It sounded like it was on that side of the island. There's still good here. Okay. Oh, necromancers are not good, are they? <gasps> okay, that's a fire truck. But I heard something like... Back here, almost. I think. Damn, that is loud. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a light, like a boat or something over there. Okay, well, I guess we can get our um, tent running. Call. Call? Call what? What I'm do you. I'm in my 60s. I'm in my 60s? Okay. You mean Hannah? You're, you're in your 60s? I don't even know why I'm looking at my tent like that. <laughs> I think I'm just a bit sleepy. I see some like... Oh yeah, there's like a bunch of flickering lights. I think those are boats. To be honest, I don't even really know right now. They're probably looking at my light and maybe thinking that I need some help or something, but I'm good. <laughs> All good in the hood. Alright, I think maybe it's time to set up the uh, tent. Okay. Keep hearing some noises, like it sounds like something splashing in the water, but um, I know this is probably a super, super awkward angle right now but uh, <laughs> is what it is. I'm gonna set up the tent because it is a seriously buggy over here. And uh, at least it'll keep me away from that. Plus, I mean, we're kind of camping right now, so like, what else? All right, let's do this. Oh, man. This way, damn. There was uh, a lot of sand that came out. What the hell? What the fuck is that? What's that? I heard something over here, but I heard something like. It sounded like something like scraped. But I didn't even move at that exact moment. What the f? That was weird. Okay, what the hell? Am I seeing shit? Okay, there's nobody there. I thought I was seeing somebody there. Literally just staring at me. Holy crap. Okay, let's uh, open her up. And I keep hearing something over there too. <laughs> oh fuck, the bug just literally went in my nose. Oh dude, that sucks. Oh fuck, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Ugh. Holy crap. Ugh. I'm like kind of halfway in. I really almost smashed a freaking camera on the ground. <laughs> okay, we're finally in the tent. 
<laughs> away from the bugs. I'm gonna actually try the necrophonic just to see what comes through. Okay, it's weird because like, I mean, we did hear some stuff about this spot, but to be honest with you, I didn't expect this to kind of go this way. It seems a lot more haunted than I would have ever thought. Is there something around me? Okay, here we go. Help. I could have sworn I heard turn around. If I see something in the tent, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, what what is going on with this island? Died in silence? The children? Can you use this to communicate with me? I think you already are, but... Damn. This? Hello and hey. You what? Is there something evil here? Probably. It sounded like a... What the fuck are these voices? Can you tell me what happened to the person who disappeared? Oh no. It feels like something's biting me. There is a car in the distance, but... Can you tell me if there's something outside of my tent right now? I feel a presence. I feel like there's something here. Go outside? I was just outside. I don't want to go outside. There's too many bugs. <laughs> I like it in here right now. I'm getting the worst headache. Angry? You're ang angry about what? Where did you say hangry? Something dead? Death? Okay. <coughs> I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel really sick. That was kind of weird, how the camera like toppled over like that. Oh man. Okay, so suddenly I'm not feeling well. I thought I was going to throw up. I literally gagged for like a second. You know when you get that feeling like it's about to happen, but not quite? Um, yeah, it was one of those types of moments. Okay, something like making me feel ill all of a sudden. Let 
Like, I don't understand what's going on with this place. I'm trying to get spirit talk running again. I want my life back. Whoa. Who wants their life back? Are you an evil spirit, like a demon? Maybe a fallen angel that wants to go back to being an angel? Unfortunately, you uh, kind of Okay, what is going on? Ugh. <laughs> oh god. Desperate. Oh man. Oh my god, what the f was that? What the f was that? I just saw something. What the f Where's my phone? I'll grab my phone. Oh. Anxiety. Yeah, you can say that again. She died. What the hell? Who is she? What the f the woman? Who the hell is the woman? Joy. I swear I saw someone literally standing, staring at me. It was actually, it looked like a woman. Which is really weird. Also last night, I was having these weird, I don't know if you want to call them nightmares? Or dreams of some sort? Sinister. Okay, well that might answer that. It was kind of sinister, in my opinion. What did I just see back there? Like, it looked like there was somebody, like, there. Which doesn't even make sense. I am Kane. Because it just goes down there. I mean, you could stand there, but, like, clearly there's no one there. Abandonment. This spot right here in particular is very odd. It just does not feel normal or right. Not to mention. I'm a good person. Okay. Are you lying to me? Something just touched me. What's below? What's below? It sounds hollow. What's under there? Hell? Maybe? Okay. Someone was just behind me. Okay, what is going on right now? Am I being surrounded? Okay, I might need to get the hell off of this island. Okay, something just tugged my shirt from behind. What is going on here? Okay, I need to get out of this, like, circle door. thing. What? Door? What do you mean, door? Okay. What? Whoa. Hello, spider. Okay, I don't even know what the hell is going on here right now. This is weird. I feel really sick. Um, something is targeting me. Ashes. What? Ashes? Is somebody's ashes here? That's so creepy. Nurturing. What? Nurturing? Concerned. About what? 
Analyzed. Okay, we might need to get the hell out of here. Well, I know something's trying to force me to leave. But to be honest with you, I don't really want to leave. I'm just not feeling right. Worthless. Okay. Man. That was just savagery. But if I go on to this side, I'm just going to see if Thank I can... Thank you for visiting. Well, you're welcome. I'm going to see if I can get this to pass, but... I am not feeling well right now. Basement. What the f basement? It's kind of weird how it was telling me to look below and it's telling me basement. Is there like a sub-level to this island or something? I don't, I don't get it. Oh man. Honestly, this spot is just really creepy. It's beautiful during the day, but at night it is just a whole other being if you ask me. Really, really off. All right, can you stop targeting me, please? I don't like that. And whatever's here needs to stay here. You cannot follow me home. Oh, I really just slapped myself in the face. I was actually like contemplating playing the Ouija board, but you know what? I ain't gonna do that here. I might maybe do it and try and contact whatever I saw last night in my dreams at the, the inn, because I am going to go back at some point. I was planning on staying out here for quite a while, and then going back maybe when it's like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning at that point, and then get a little bit of sleep, and then tomorrow we're going to Thunder Bay, but I don't know. Something is like not right here. I'm trying to figure out what the hell it is, but uh, whew, this is just on a whole other level of creepiness. Holy crap. Why don't you show yourself again? As soon as I said that, maybe that was not a good idea. Okay, maybe don't show yourself. Maybe stay in the wherever the hell you are right now, in your dungeon lair on this island, apparently. Okay, I think it might honestly just be time to pack it in. I don't think this was a really, really good idea. Okay, I'm gonna go and pack up the tent. Whew. Again, I know this is probably a really awkward angle. Um, but I'm not staying here. There's no way in here. I definitely want to stay longer, but there will be lots of opportunities for camping. And uh, unfortunately tonight, something is making me feel really, really gross. And uh, I don't like it at all. I also kind of despise. It was a little bit of a challenge, but once you got it kind of down packed, it's actually not that hard anymore. I just, I hate when it like flings back out, which happens. That's annoying. Almost, but I got it. Answers. Uh, ah, crap. Oh, that is the worst. Worst thing about tents is the material when it gets. I keep hearing something out there. Turtle backpack back on. We're good to go. Yeah, I don't know. I kept hearing something 
in here again. Something in there. Fuck me, I'm feeling like worse and worse as time goes on. Whew, a little bit of shortness of breath. Oh man, something in here. I don't know why, but something is literally trying to draw me into here. I probably shouldn't go, but just for experimentation's sake, I guess. What the f Okay. That was that weird f sound again. What the f was that? Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna get the f out of here. Time to go. I think I've had enough of uh, this place for one night. This was definitely not what I expected or how I expected tonight to go. Whew. Fuck this. I don't know what the fuck is on in this, this little mini forest over here. But I am not going to stick around to find out get literally physically attacked all right screw you whatever the hell you are something in here is fucking with me tonight oh man I heard something in there again okay fuck this let's just get back to the fucking car This rope is still here, that's odd. So the guy who, it was actually a couple that went boating, that's whose truck that was earlier, they eventually came back. You guys obviously heard all the, the commotion. Um, so that clearly was not their rope. I don't know whose rope this is, but that is really creepy. I don't know, there's just something about this place. It, it feels off. Like, really, really off. Oh, man. I feel bad because I wanted to get some answers. But, uh... Oh, it's so hazy out here. Holy crap. For a second, I almost forgot where the freaking car even was. Oh, boy. Oh. For some reason I thought I saw somebody down there again. What is going on in this place? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, okay. Fuck it, let's just get back in the car. And get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, well, I can definitely confirm that uh, Angelo Island is very scary indeed. Um, I don't know what's going on. I really wanted to get some answers. I don't really have an answer as to why this is haunted. There's really no rhyme or reason. It's just totally at random. It's like something decided to attach itself to this place. Um, and I, I don't know. Maybe it's like a portal. Maybe those little tree. Oh, that actually makes sense. So maybe that circular area is a portal to like the underworld or I don't even know. To some world. But uh, I really wanted to find out about this guy that disappeared. Unfortunately, I don't have any answers. Um, all, all, I, all I know, 100%, is that Angelo Island is scary. <laughs> That's it. That's all I've got for tonight. Um, it was creepy back in the other forested area, not too far from here. So there's that. Um, now, what would be interesting... So I have to come back this way. So my plan right now is I'm essentially aiming to get to Calgary by like maybe Friday. Uh, today is Monday. Well, now Tuesday. So Tuesday into Wednesday, I'll be in Thunder Bay. So if I can do the drive and like get to Calgary in like two days, maybe even Saturday night, that's fine too. Um, then I'll do it. Um, but then when I come back, uh, so I am going to like go to like British Columbia and stuff as well. And maybe even the Yukon. I don't know. I've never... I. I I think it would be cool because, like, I've done all the provinces now, and it would be kind of cool to do, like, one of the territories as well. Um, 
But yeah, so basically when I come back, I have to come through this way anyway. So maybe, just maybe, if you guys want me to, maybe I can come back to the island and maybe I can go back to the forest and we can even see if all of that stuff is still there. Now it would be crazy because that'll be like a month from now, right? So <laughs> if that is the case, then wow. <laughs> um, then clearly like somebody is absolutely staying in there or hiding out or doing something. But in the meanwhile, I got like an hour and some odd minute drive. So I'm going to start heading back and uh, yeah, we'll see what we end up uh, doing at Red Rock. Hopefully it's like not too busy. Otherwise, maybe I'll do a little bit more investigating over there as well. Well, it is almost two o'clock in the morning. Just made it back to the Red Rock Inn. Uh, wow, looks like it's a uh, full house. <laughs> okay, honestly, I was gonna do the Ouija board, but I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. I am so tired. All right, guys, so I am basically getting ready for bed. I know I'm talking very quiet, but that's because there's people in the room next to me. Um, I'm just too exhausted tonight. Filmed a lot of content in the last few days, and I just honestly, I don't want to film anymore. <laughs> However, what I'm going to do, because last night we had some weird stuff happening in here, in my dreams, mostly. There was a woman that kept coming to me. I can't explain who this woman was, what it was all about. What I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my night vision camera and just record the room as I'm sleeping and see if anything happens because it was a little bit strange. So we'll see essentially what does happen. All right. Good night.